Get ready for a winter treat. The best meteor shower of the year is happening this Sunday, December 13th. The Geminid meteor shower could have more than 100 shooting stars per hour, or a meteor or two every minute when seen from dark skies. Meteor showers are one of a few instances when, instead of us looking out at the cosmos, the universe comes to us. Shooting stars, of course, aren't stars at all. They're actually small pieces of debris left behind passing comets, or sometimes asteroids. In the case of the Geminids, the culprit is asteroid 3200 Phaethon. The pieces this space rock leaves behind burn up in a flash as they fall into Earth's upper atmosphere at speeds approaching 80,000 miles per hour. Larger pieces might take longer to burn up, creating longer-lasting fireballs that arc across the sky. Phaethon loops around the sun every one and a half years, shedding particles every time it comes close enough to bake in the sun's heat. The Earth passes through the debris field left in the space rock's wake every mid-December. The Geminids are typically a good show, but this year they'll be at their finest. First, the bright moon won't interfere like it did last year. The moon will be new on December 14th, meaning we won't see it at all, and skies will be as dark as they can be. Second, the radiant, or the part of the sky the meteors appear to be shooting from, will already be above the horizon when the shower begins, giving us a better shot at catching a shooting star. And best of all, the show comes at the perfect time for Northern Stargazers, at 8 p.m. Eastern or 7 p.m. Central Time, offering a post-dinner treat. This is just about the only meteor shower that occurs so early in the night, so take the kids outside too. That's not to say the show's over then. Keep watching, and you'll see Geminids for several hours before and after maximum. So stay outside to see how many you can catch. This is one astronomy event where no telescopes are required. The meteors will appear to be coming from a spot near the bright star Castor, one of the Gemini twins, but meteors will be visible across the sky. For light polluted areas, your best bet is to scan the darkest part of the sky, which is usually the part right above you. Lying down and gazing up at the sky is easier said than done in cold and possibly snowy December. To maximize the fun, be sure to dress warmly and in layers. Bring a heavy blanket or an insulated sleep sack. And if you can, lay on a lawn chair so you're off the cold ground. You'll want to spend at least 20 minutes outside to allow your eyes to adjust to the dark. Otherwise, you won't even know what's happening above you. The Geminids will be an excellent show this year. So step outside and look up.